When you start the Captivate application, first select File, the drop down menu, and select Record New Project. And then from the drop down box under the capture area that you want to video record, you can select from existing sizes or you can customize your own. For example, I have set up. Uh, 1080 by 720 so it's width by height for YouTube upload that's the, um, the ideal size and uh, you can just name it let's say HD for YouTube so you'd just enter 1080 by 720. Give it a uh, you give it a name and select save. And okay. So now from drop down box you can select one of those sizes and the one that you have set up is this one. Then um, at the bottom select automatic option for demonstrations. You do not need full motions because the videos will be much bigger the automatic option only records those critical steps that you record going through the task then select settings and in the settings we're going to specify where the recorded project will be sitting and the cache so we select general settings and make sure that publish at box contains well it's saved on D drive anyway I have set up a folder on D drive and that's where my recordings will be saved and the cache. That's it. Set OK. And then when you're ready, click on record. And you can move the recording area higher or lower, lower, wherever you want. So when you start recording, you can just demonstrate, let's for example, how to use an audio recording application Audacity. So, so every click will be recorded. So when you finish recording, at the bottom you will see Adobe Captivate icon. So you can either right click on that. Actually when you click on that icon at the bottom, uh, the recording will stop. So this is now the recorded project. You'll see the those critical steps and clicks have been recorded. If you want to preview your recording, on top you will, from the drop down box, you can select play individual slides from this slide or next five slides or the whole project. In a few seconds, the flash video will be generated and you can preview your recording. And you close your preview and if you're happy with your recording click on file and save the project first and we're gonna we're going to save it on D drive captivate so this is where the cache temporary memory bits are sitting so let's just name it mm, demo video select select save so now the project is saved now you can export it and go file publish which means like exporting it in a particular video format then we select video uh, media from drop down box we can select the F4V video, which is ready for YouTube upload. This is the title, it's sitting in D drive, and when you're ready, just select Publish.
when you finish, click on yes to see the output or the final video. And that's it.